many of your uh, scale systems are self-propagating, like like some sort of botanical entity. The scale tree is self-propagating. Yeah. The co-prime grid is self-propagating. Yeah. The scales of Mount Mayweather is self-propagating. That characteristic of your work makes you. That is something that Harry Parch didn't offer, or Joseph Yasser didn't offer, or. It, uh... My scales tend to resemble fractals, although not, they're not exactly fractals, but in, in many ways you could call them fractals because they, the same pattern repeats over and over again out to infinity. And fractals occur also in growing plants. How is your work different from other people in the microtonal field who have also made contributions? My stuff is organic. I'm a product of a primitive agricultural hunting and gathering lifestyle. I just tend to have a feeling of freedom. I've always insisted on being free. I was, was free to wander out through the meadows and the forests and the rivers and the valleys and, and gather flowers pretty flowers and, and, and catch beautiful butterflies and uh, listen to the sound of the wind blowing through the pine trees. It's, it's being born out in the open nature. A lot of times if you're stuck and stranded in a city born in here, you end up with the city sounds embedded in your brain. The coal prime grid is one of the most astonishing things I've ever seen. I didn't make it, I just stumbled across it and realized when I stumbled into something good. You're lucky when you find a new, a new strain, a new mine of diamonds. It's musical diamonds. <laughs>